Hey guys, I'm Charlie, and this is an instructional video to demonstrate how to use and adjust the patented RoboDuck Designs ankle truss. I invented the ankle truss after tearing my Achilles tendon while jumping my motorcycle. I couldn't walk on crutches simply because any flexion of the ankle joint caused a lot of pain. Standing in one place, however, was uncomfortable, but as long as my ankle joint didn't flex, it was tolerable for long periods of time. Now, this reminded me of being in a ski boot, and I imagined that if I could attach a brace to my motorcycle boot that, like a ski boot, would not allow flexion beyond a certain point, I would be able to ride. And anyone who rides knows that being laid up and unable to ride for any length of time is just unacceptable. It stinks. So I hobbled my crippled butt into my shop, cut out, and welded the prototype. The first thing you need to know about the ankle truss, and this model in particular, is that it was not conceived as a way to prevent injury to a healthy ankle. Rather, it was designed to allow me to ride at a pretty good pace, even while my ankle injury was so severe, I couldn't walk. Still slower than heck, but... <laughs> also, with my particular injury, there was still a good amount of pain, but it was bearable and easily tolerable with aspirin or ibuprofen. Now, if it was Ryan, him being a big <laughs> pussy, he would not be able to do that. He I can't ride. Need some or something. I can't ride. So, like any brace, wearing the ankle truss is going to feel clumsy to someone with a healthy ankle. And we are in the design phase of a hinge model with a suspension that will be designed as much for prevention as it is to support a catastrophic injury. That said, this design will allow, this design will both eliminate flexion or, depending on the adjustment, allow for substantial flex. And this is how it works. Give me just a couple seconds to get this off of here. And this is how it works. <coughs> Sit, Ulu, sit. Me, <laughs> you know how long we've been doing this? The boot stays right on the motorcycle every time. Yeah. And now all of a sudden it doesn't want to stay on the motorcycle. Yeah. <clears throat> so the brace is placed over the boot from the front by flexing the brace and pulling the heel cup under the sole of the boot. It's a lot easier if I were putting this on someone else's foot. And at the same time, making sure this front strap stays above the lower buckle. So it's pushed on like that into position and then pulled behind the heel cup. Okay. The closer the brace is adjusted to the heel cup, meaning the shorter this distance right here, the more it's going to limit flexion. And when the injury is fresh, this is going to be the desired position. You're going to want this distance really short to keep the the boot from flexing. Now, as the injury heals and more articulation is desired, you will lengthen the distance from the heel cup to the brace. This will allow more acute flexion of the ankle before the shin meets the brace and, and begins providing support. Now, anytime an adjustment is made to that distance, there has to be an equal adjustment made to tighten up the front strap. This front strap holds the heel cup tight against the boot. As the, as the brace either moves rearward to limit flexion or forward to allow flexion, the front strap and the heel cup always stay tight. And that keeps the heel cup tight against the heel of the boot. Okay, now adjustments are designed to be made with the brace off of the boot because making an adjustment is very difficult with the brace on the boot. So I hope this has helped. I hope this has uh, taught you how to use the thing. We've had great luck with it. Uh, ride safe, and thank you for buying our product.